It's an integral part of most islanders' daily diets, so it's good to know that milk produced here in the Channel Islands is healthier than most other brands. That's according to new research done at Newcastle University. Experts analysed 16 varieties of milk over two years. They found quality improved during summer when cows grazed more regularly. They also discovered Channel Islands' milk was richer in the likes of protein and omega-3. The omega-3 content in milk of Jersey cows was similar to that of Holstein cows, but we saw a boost of omega-3 uh, fatty acids in, uh, during summer. And possibly this is because of the better efficiency of uh, Jersey cows to transfer omega-3 fatty acids from the diet into the milk. Many of the positives are down to strong genes of Channel Island cows. They respond well to grazing, which improves the quality of milk. And they get to graze more of the year due to a warmer climate than the UK. Guernsey cows, good Jersey cows, have a good lifestyle. We, we make sure um, that they are comfortable um, um, in terms of their environment because we know that a comfortable cow, a happy cow, a relaxed cow produces more milk and that's profitable. Something else that's profitable is exporting milk. Jersey Dairy are currently doing that and looking to do more. Many of their products are going from the production line to the likes of Japan, India and hopefully China. One of the things that they have picked up on is the quality of Jersey milk. It is uh, a premium milk, in fact we call it the champagne of milks and uh, they believe that it's a product that will go down well in their market. Champagne tends to be expensive and that is true of Channel Islands milk compared with competitors but Jersey and Guernsey hope other countries will opt for quality over quantity.